Hey everybody! So I'm here to um, do part three, and this is the last and final part, and just to talk about my hot oil treatment and how I wrap my hair up and go to bed at night. So um, this won't be a long video because that's it. Hopefully it won't be as long as ten minutes, but you know, you never know with me. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm starting out with the hot oil treatment. So when I do my hot oil treatment, um, first off, I use... Um, Evo and I use um um extra virgin coconut oil. Now I have a video for that as well. I have a video for everything. I've been doing videos for everything. Um I'll link it down below about how I do my hot oil treatment. But in that video I was using Evo and then regular olive oil because I ran out of Evo and I had and it was like only a little bit like this and I had to put some more um oil in there to do my hot oil treatment for that night. So you know you have to use what you have, you know, while you're doing your hair, you know, whatever, whatever. So, but now, um, I'm using, um, the same Evo and a little bit of the olive oil, but I added some, um, extra virgin coconut oil because, like I said in my older video before, that I was going to revisit certain products, so I'm revisiting the, um, coconut oil, okay? So, um, I use that and I, um, you know, get a container of, um, hot water and then I, um, not boiling water, but I place, you know, the container under, um, running hot water and then, cause my water gets hot here, so it's like, it's really hot. And then, um, I put it in there and I let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes and then I go on ahead and, um, oil my scalp and then I massage each section, I section my hair and stuff like that. So you'll see it in the video. That's exactly how I, um, hot oil treatment my hair. And then, um, I have the heat therapy wrap that I use and I heat that up in the microwave and then I, um, wrap my hair and I hot oil treatment for 30 minutes. And then, um, when I get in the shower, um, I, you know, to rinse the, um, oil out, I don't take the cap off. I let the, um, steam from the shower, um, you know, hit it while I'm, you know, washing up and stuff like that. And then I finally take it off and then rinse my oil out. So, um, that's what I do. So I do this twice a month. And, um, that's basically it with the hot oil treatment. Um, if it's anything else, then I'll, um, you know, insert it within the video, okay? Alright, so moving on to, um, wrapping hair, um, at night. Okay, so basically, I don't need this anymore. <laughs> um, I wrap my hair at night. I'm using I was using a silk scarf at one point, um, and a bonnet. And um, the silk scarf is long. You know, I was talking about it in my, one of my vlogs. It's long. Uh, my recent vlogs is long, but you know, I wrap it, wrap my hair, and it's falling. Out, it's falling off of my head in, within the bonnet. I'm like, this is so annoying. Like, I need something that will really stay on my hair while I have my bonnet on. You know, like, hello? Like, why are you coming off? Like, that's just, that just irks me. That's just irking my soul. And I don't want to tie the scarf too tight because, you know, I, I don't know, I could get a headache or something like that. You know, and you don't want to tie it too tight because you're putting so much pressure on your skull, you know, by just tying that scarf. So it's just like, oh, okay. So what am I going to do? So um, I was in Sally's one day, and this was about a month ago a month and a, few, a couple weeks and um I was getting a do I was looking for, looking at the do rags and I'm like why not get a do rag like let me get a do rag and then plus you know I um wear a hat sometimes so I was like you know instead of just putting the hat on my head you know by itself I need something up under there but I can't wear the scarf because it's too big because I tie it on the side so it's just too much going on so I was like you know what let me just get something that's kind of like thin to where I could put it under my hat and I could wear it so the do rag will stay so, um, I got the do-rag, and this is like a regular do-rag that you tie around, got the long strings, and you just tie it around like that, it's black, and, um, I should have showed it in a video, but I'll do that another time, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, I do that at night, and I like it, and I don't use a bonnet, because that thing does not come off, it does not come off at all, I still have my satin pillow, you know, but it does not move, it does not budge, nothing, and I don't tie it tight either, like, I tie it to where it's a good, you know, and I like the way it is because you can tie it around twice. Like, you could, you know, I tie it and go like that and come back like that. And I and then I tie it up in a book. I tie it up like that or whatever in the back. So, it, you know, doesn't really come off. But I don't tie it tight. It doesn't give me a headache. It doesn't slip off. It's good. So, I don't even have to put a satin, set, I said satin, a satin bonnet on my head unless I really want to, you know. But, um, that's basically it. And I put it, I, I throw a satin bonnet on my head if I'm, like, you know, say, like, today, for instance, well, last night, 
um, I didn't retwist my hair. And I, you know, I had to plan in my head this morning that I was going to put my hair up in a puff. So um, I was like, you know, so I just threw on my satin bonnet. That's what I do. I don't use the do rag because it will really flatten my hair and I have to sit there and, and you know, fluff my hair out. So no. So I just threw the satin bonnet on my head and that's it. So that's the only time I really use my satin bonnet is if I, you know, know I'm going to, you know, do a puff the next day or if I had a puff in my hair and I don't feel like retwisting and I just throw the satin bonnet on or whatever, what, what have you. So it depends on what kind of style I have. You know, that's what I do. But most of the time when I twist when I twist my hair, 100% of the time, I'm putting on that do-rag. That's it. I'm putting on a do-rag and it's been working wonders. Like, I really like it. So I don't use the satin silk scarf right now. I push it to the side. Sorry, you guys. I don't y'all like, ugh, ugh, what you talking about? Ugh, you don't use satin scarf. You need to use silk scarf. And da -da -da -da. No, I'm not using it. <laughs> so sorry guys and I'm being mean but this is what my hair likes so I like to you know listen to my hair and this is my hair so I think that's basically it I don't think I have anything else um my notes no that's it so um, I told you this is going to be like a short video I'm looking it says five minutes so I know I'm gonna go over like I know I'm gonna go like six seven minutes cause I'm talk about to talk right now um, but that's my overall hair, me re uh, sorry, that's my overall hair regimen, um, I, this is what I've been doing for the past, um, I've been natural for five months now, so I've been doing, I've been doing this for like five months, I think I have like a, I'm trying to think, I've been switching up products and stuff like that, but, um, for a good, I think for a good three months I've been doing this, you know, doing this regimen right here, but if not, I've been doing it for the five months, and, um, I'm liking it a lot, and, um, you know, like I said before, my regimen wasn't really sturdy, and it's still kind of not sturdy, sturdy, but I do have my Holy Grails and Staple products, um, some, um, I think one of my products, I think I'll talk to you about it, um, in another video or one of my vlogs, um, left out of my Staple or Holy Grail category, don't ask me how that happened, but it did. I don't know, sometimes that happens, you know, and, um, so, but, um, but other than that, the items that I mentioned and the stuff that I do, I've been doing that for a while, so, um, it's like, you know, I know I've been only natural for five months, but I've been transitioning for eight months, experimenting with other products and stuff like that, and trying to see what works for my hair and everything, and that's why, hence, I'm a product junkie, look at the back here, <laughs> And, um, so, um, but I'm trying to get out of that, you know, and it's hard. I put myself on a no-buy for a month, and, um, it's been pretty good. I saved a lot of money, too. I'm like, oh, I have that much in the bank. <laughs> Sorry, stop. But anyway, um, that's basically it. So, um, that's it. I don't know what else to say. This is what's work working for my hair. You know, my hair loves it. I'm going to listen to my hair, hence my hair and um you know my hair likes what i do i'm going to listen to it i don't want any setbacks you know god forbid if something does happen i do have a setback but you know but for right now i don't want i don't want to make the setback myself as far as me doing you know something to my hair or to to where it's like you know my hair is like hello like are you listening well if not i'm leaving and the hair falls off <laughs> so you know whatever whatever but um that's basically it in a nutshell if i forget anything like i said before i insert it within the video or i'll come back with another video like oh i forgot or remember when i said another video you know you know i'm good for that um and that's basically it so if you guys have any further questions comments or concerns about anything or if you're not you know um, if you need some clarity on my hair regimen and stuff like that, please don't hesitate to ask. And that's just my hair regimen. That's it. You know, in a nutshell, that's what I do. And, um, that's it. Okay? So, you guys, it's eight, like eight minutes. I told you I was going to go over. But, um, like I said before, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching my little mini-series of my hair regimen. And these will each be a video response to the hair challenge, the sister with real hair. So that's why I'm also doing it. And um, I should have been in a hair regimen for you guys. But anyway, have a blessed day, blessed night whenever you're watching this. And um, I'll see you next time. And again, if I don't see you for Christmas, um, happy holidays. Merry Christmas.